I bought the nicest lip on the internet that no one ever buys. The Civic has been down for so long and it's finally time to give it a front end. And this is actually my old bumper. As you can see, the paint is just coming off. I ordered a fake J blood bumper and uh, that didn't work out so well. Obviously this would sit in a lot more flush. Oh shit. there's nothing holding this bumper on. So I literally had to put one of my oil jugs right here just to keep this bumper and hold. We are reattempting to do another version of a cheap J Pop bumper. You guys are probably like, oh man, generic. You need to stay away from the eBay, ooh, Amazon, ooh. cheap stuff. But I think I finally found what works. Our new style lip. It is a J style lip, AKA ooh. eBay. This lip is literally the same style as if it were on a J blood. Usually uh, they mold it in with the bumper and that's considered a J blood bumper. But I've always wondered why no one ever made a J blood lip. It would just make it so much easier. There's other lips like the Mugen, the Spoon, the Type R OEM lip, and I just don't really like those. I also bought a brand new bumper because the old one was cracked. Bumper from eBay. I had my dad paint it, shout out to my dad. He was able to paint match this all good. Eventually I will paint the fog and the bottom girl black, but just for now, it's gonna be white. Brand new, basically no cracks, no nothing like that. Fresh off the paint. I use the old Mac lifter kit, which is basically these brackets. These Honda bumpers are known for their tabs breaking. So that's why I put this metal bracket here. Also, it helps with the bumper fitment and it makes it super flush, which you'll see later on in this nice. video. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm so used to the tabs from broken. You could definitely see the tabs right here. This tab was completely snapped off. So the bumper wouldn't really hold on. Shout out to the Mac lifter kit though. I'm gonna slap this grill on. And look at that, the bumper is on. Now it's time to put on the lip. All right, so we are using some Honda Genuine weather stripping. It's pretty simple. We're gonna put this weather stripping all around this lip on this edge so that way it doesn't scrape the uh, bumper. Just to keep it OEM like, I know J Blood doesn't usually do this, but I usually like to do it. I'm not sure if it's Honda Genuine. I bought it from eBay, but same thing. If it works, it works. I've been looking a while for the cheapest J Blood and I think we just might found it. I didn't even screw it in just yet. So watch this. This is the official J Blood lip um, on the OEM bumper. Like I said, most J Blood bumpers, you have to buy it as fiberglass, but this is completely plastic. It's all plastic right here, even the J Blood lip. So if I do mess up this lip, I could just buy another one. Literally bought this lip for like, what? 130 bucks or something like that. Not even the price of J Blood. Um, as you can see, the Honda weather stripping sets it all off. One last thing for this lip, I have to install these brackets. And it basically mounts like this. So that way this lip doesn't fly off from all the air hitting it. And I basically screwed it on here and then uh, tap and screw there. We are ready to go. This bumper is definitely not going anywhere. It's pretty sturdy too. All right guys, this is it. j lip in its final form. It was kind of getting late when I installed the lip, but I just want to show you guys in a different view. The only thing that is missing on this j blood j blood front end is basically, I do need to paint the fog holes and the lower grill black. It's supposed to be black, like how it is on the OEM bumper, but I just haven't got to it yet, but that'll be it later for a next video.